from black again, Tim, please. Fade up from fade up from black at the start and fade down to black at the end. There we go. Right, I'm gonna count it down from five. Five, four, three, two, one. Hello. Hello. Um I'm going to ask you some questions about the strikes. Have, okay. you, have you heard of the strikes that have been planned for the 1st of February? Well, we're heading towards a general strike, I'd say, in this country at the moment. So, you know, everybody's jumping on board now. And it depends on what union you're in, mm. whether it affects you here or not. But, yeah, I have heard of it, yeah. Yeah. Um, will you be joining the strike? So at the moment I'm an agency temp here and I'm not okay. in a union, I'm not in UCU which is University College uh, Union. If you are in a union, if I was in UCU and they called the strike, you, ha you have to do it, yeah. that's the whole thing. Um, as I'm not and I'm a you know, part time agency temp, it's a difficult decision really, you know, because if they... S so if some of my colleagues went on strike and some didn't and I had to decide whether I was going to or not I'd be inclined not to strike in my current position but I also do support it yeah. and so I, I actually don't I actually don't know the answer to that question at this point in time yeah um how have no no what if anything do you think these strikes will hopefully achieve well, the thing is that, you know, the Conservative government have run down the public sector consistently for a long time now, and it, it's on its last legs, so it, the way that it's framed is that professional people are being greedy and wanting more money, but it isn't just about the fact that people have had a, effectively a wage reduction over the years because of inflation, yada yada, and people need, they do need more money. It's also about conditions for nurses and teachers and all that stuff, and I think nobody ever wants to strike. I mean, you have to remember that people are striking and not being paid. Yeah. And they're losing money when they're already short of money. It's a desperate measure. So when it happens a lot, it's because it needs sorting out. Yeah. I, I, I don't pretend to understand how to sort out the problems of the country, but I think the public sector really needs a massive injection of support. And for that reason, it, that, that you have to get to a point where you go, enough is enough. And I think that's what's happening. Yeah. Do you think there'd be anything else that would be more effective for what they're trying to achieve than strikes? <laughs> well, you know what my fantasy, my fantasy rebellion is. Um, I don't know whether you remember there was a, a group called Anonymous yeah. that used to come on and make these videos with the V for Vendetta masks on, and they'd do this like we do not forget, we do not forgive the stuff. I'd be like, if they could do half the things they promised to do, like zeroing Putin's bank balance or something just brilliant like that I mean I feel like revolution could be more intelligent now I, I do feel like standing on the street in a picket line is very old school and there's nothing wrong with that yeah. but I do feel like it'd be amazing if you could just you know you wake up you wake up one morning and suddenly like well I don't know um, all the Conservative Party MPs' bank accounts have been zeroed yeah. for a week, and yeah. then they put it back in again, or something like that. Would be like that would be really funny and really interesting. What people could could do about it. So yeah, that. Yeah, um, that leads me on to the if you could have three wishes, what would they be? If I could have three wishes, I would have world peace. I would not have anybody homeless in the whole of the world and then after that I'll just be happy thanks very much for the rest of my life. Hmm. <laughs> Sounds very good. And Doug, the final question, what is the meaning of life? <laughs> well obviously it's 42 uh, mm. but I have been thinking about this question recently, what is the actual point of life? and. Um, the answer that I've come up with is the purpose of life is to be creative in some way, shape or form. Yeah. And I think that's what you're all doing here. I think that's what all this is about. It's like 
just do something that you put something out into the world that ideally brightens it up a bit or helps somebody or just entertains somebody I, I think being creative is what we're here for really yeah. and that's that's the best answer i've got other than 42. yeah thank you for your time thank you for thanking me of course anytime <laughs> <laughs> boom <laughs>